Hello and welcome to the fifth chapter. In this chapter, you discover one of the most important elements in your journey to self-discovery is learning to embrace who you are and practicing self-love. This is proven to be one of the most difficult things to do. Do you feel you're not good enough? Everything you do feels like it eventually amounts to nothing so you don't even try. You find yourself spinning in a downwards spiral because you feel like you don't measure up. For those who feel this way, this might be their reality or truth. Research has shown that the feeling of unworthiness is one of the common contributing factors of various health complications. Self-discovery is greatly dependent on whether you practice self-love. Love for oneself is a great asset one can have in life. First and foremost, you should ask yourself, who are you? To a very large extent, most of us are deeply engrossed on the day-to-day -day hustles and bustles of life, until we forget who we truly are and appreciating our self-worth. Do you love yourself? Most people would probably evade the question, but it's an important and valid question which, if we could all answer yes to, would change the way we feel about ourselves and give us self-confidence to achieve the dreams and desires we have for our lives. It's also about accepting that we have our own special place in this world. Feeling unloved and unworthy is a very lonely feeling. If you can't find anything to love about yourself, you're probably struggling with self-love. Learning to love yourself is possible. To love yourself, you must challenge the negative feelings inside the center of your thoughts. We must acknowledge that our self-worth and self-acceptance are about the person we are, the person we are comfortable being around when everyone else has left and we're alone. We must realize by the end of the day, we are all we have. The first step to self-love is to take the time to sit and write all the things there is to love about yourself. Be honest as possible. Do not let toxic thoughts hinder the process. Do these five simple things every day and you'll find yourself thinking very differently. 1. Write down positive qualities you possess and read them aloud to yourself often. 2. Learn to self-care and do something every day that you enjoy. You deserve it. 3. Look in the mirror and learn to love the person looking back at you and tell him or her every day that they are loved and why. 4. Fill your life with people who love you and tell you often what a special person you are. Accept their words and their love without questioning it. 5. Embrace who you are and all the qualities you possess. Another important step to take is to identify what are the things others do for you that make you feel loved. Do you like to have people give you special gifts or to send you cards and messages assuring you that you are loved and appreciated? Maybe you're the type of person who appreciates a hug as a way of feeling loved or really enjoy spending time with your spouse or best friend. The way we give love to others is often indicative of the way we want to be loved ourselves. Most couples enjoy expressing their love to each other. However, many of us have yet to learn a golden lesson. Often what makes us feel loved is different to the way others give and receive it. Learning what makes our spouse or children feel loved is the key to experiencing deep, passionate relationships. We all enjoy being told that we are loved, but for some people the spoken word isn't enough. Telling your spouse or child you love them but never following up with the things that make them feel loved can create feelings of confusion and concern in even the best of relationships. Learning to recognize the things that make us feel loved and then identifying what the significant people in our lives need to feel loved is a beautiful self-growth adventure that will improve the relationship. It takes a little time and effort to learn how to do this, yet as we learn and use this simple technique, our relationships can be transformed. We all have room to grow and develop and the most liberating truth of all, that is, each of us is unique and beautiful. There's no one quite like you on this earth, and there never will be. Once we accept this, we can then focus on ways to improve ourselves. Without appreciating this perspective, it feels as if we are constantly striving to find self-acceptance, externally instead of willingly and wholeheartedly accepting ourselves for who we are. 
This creates an unhealthy dependency on external validation. A person who only feels happy when people praise him or her will never genuinely feel happy because external praises will die down and it's not long-lasting. People can't be praising us 24 hours, 7 days a week. An old African proverb reminds us, if there are no enemies within, then no external enemies can cause harm or hurt. This means that if we are at peace with ourselves, then whatever events or occurrences that are perceived to be bad and negative will not affect us unless we allow it to. Always remember, you're worth it. Embrace all your strengths and weaknesses as those qualities make you unique and who you really are. Thank yourself for bringing you this far in life regardless of the outcome because you know what? You're still alive.